This is a brief video of a high fog fire extinguishing system as found on a yacht. The principal means of operation behind this system is to emit a fog of water onto a fire which then cools the fire to the point that it cannot support combustion. It does not smother it using water. It does not try to drown the, drown the flames. You actually cool the system down and add very little water to it. Um, the unit itself consists of a main structure which is a water container, water tank. You've got, in this case, you've got four high pressure water pumps. One, two, three, and a fourth one at the back that you cannot see. Attached to each high pressure water pump are two, two high pressure pumping units. There's another two down there, another two down there, and there'll be another two which are not visible. Also on the system, at the, in this case at the bottom, you've got what's referred to as a top-up water pump. The purpose of the top-up pump is to maintain a pressure of approximately 25 bar on the system. So that 25 bar is distributed right through the entire vessel, all the way up to the nozzles, scattered throughout the vessel. When there's a fire, a wax element on those nozzles will melt, thus bursting and releasing the water pressure into the vessel. At that point, your top-up pump will attempt to maintain the 25 bar pressure. When it is unable to do so, the main pumps, three of the four, there's always one on standby, three of the four will start up and boost the pressure up to 160 bar and that will provide water flow and a fine mist through very small nozzles into the accommodation to cool and extinguish the fire. As soon as water starts getting used from the tank, it is refilled from the ship's water supply system. Should you need to, there is also a valve which is attached to the seawater system from the main fire line which can also be used to top up the tank. The water pump responsible for topping up the tank is attached to the emergency switchboard. Again, from your pressure, press, from your main pumps, the pressure is routed into the manifold, one direction of which goes through your pressure gauges and your automation system down to a drain point, here's a manual drain valve, into the bulges, or from the manifold through the main isolation valve and up and into the vessel's interior. This whole system is run from the emergency switchboard, the emergency generator, and thus can run in the event of a main generator failure. Also on this system is a backup supply. You've got the black and the red bottles. The black bottles are nitrogen filled. They are there to provide the pressure to the system should the main unit fail. Nitrogen at 195 bar in our case is pushed through the red bottles which contain water, the fire extinguishing agent. This then goes through another isolation valve and again into the main fire line. Should you need to do any testing on the system, it is highly advised to first close the isolation valve and then remove the black solenoid, which is the emergency discharge for the nitrogen. This prevents any form of accident happening where you're trying to switch off the system and then the nitrogen discharges and then you have to send all the bottles ashore to be refilled. So that is the system, very brief context. 
Yeah, we have a high fog nozzle. Should there be a fire nearby, heat rises. The heat reaches the nozzle. In there you can see a wax element which is inside glass with an air bubble. The temperature increase will make the wax and the air bubble expand which will then burst the glass. As soon as the glass is gone, the water pressure of 25 bar enters the nozzle and sprays out. This then causes the main system to drop in pressure and the main pumps to, to turn on which then again leads 160 bar water pressure into this which then sprays a fine mist throughout the vessel. For interest sakes, yeah, we have a fire detector which will hopefully give us ample warning before the high fog system is needed.